Welcome back. There's a new digital art gallery in downtown LA that transforms the world's finest art into immersive multi-sensory experiences. The Loom Los Angeles opened its doors in April and its first exhibition brings the story of street art to life as seen through the lens of artists from all around the world. Our correspondent Layla Muhammad gives us a glimpse. Welcome to 1980s New York City, one of the cool major cities you'll visit through the Street Art Alive experience at the Loom in downtown Los Angeles. Here with the event director, Hello. Carl Bonet. I, when I walked in here, I thought I was going somewhere. I was hopping off the subway. That's right. Well, we're, <laughs> we transport you to 1980s New York, like a subway there. New York being the birthplace of street art and graffiti, really you know, inspired the rest of the world. I mean, LA, of course, had its huge part to play in it, but New York really launched the global phenomenon of street art. And so it's not just New York, because you mentioned the world influence that it had. So what are some of the major cities people will visit here? We go to New York, obviously we go to London, Sao Paulo, Melbourne, Berlin. We actually visit over 20 different cities around the world. We've brought in work from over 200 artists. Wow. From every point around the globe. The crews that um, we got to do the work here is local LA artists, like a graffiti artist, the Boom Bap Kids. They're incredible artists and they're prominent in the scene right now. You'll find us now. This tunnel. Yeah, we're in the Leak Street Tunnel. So this tunnel was made famous by Banksy. And around the year 2000, he got permission from the local government to do street art legally. And that changed the whole dynamic of, of street art around the world because it, it got it recognized as a valid art form in itself. And so 200 artists, 20 cities, what are some of the themes that the art touches on? We touch on vibrancy, there's a fresh take on history, there's uh, rejuvenation, there's fight for your right. So there's social commentary, you know, abounding in it. There's works of color and hope positivity. It focuses on, on every sort of need to express idea that there is. This is the most incredible thing about street art is that it's, it's an every man's work. Okay, so we step in here, we see the art moving all around That's us. That's right. Well, we've got over 25,000 foot of uh, projected space. There are over 65 projectors in here. There's a, a loop of around 45 minutes of the exhibit and uh, there's no real beginning or end to it. The narrative sort of moves along, but you can come in at any point and you can leave at any point. Well, speaking of that, how much time do most people spend when they come in here and they walk through? Well, it's incredible. People can spend up to two hours in here. They'll find a little spot on one of the crates here. They'll immerse themselves in the, in the story, the narrative. You'll see that a lot of the work becomes animated and illustrated. And so it sort of starts to tell a story and you get a sense of, of people's imaginations and how that runs right in all these different places. Well, speaking of storytelling, I know some of the art really touches on social justice issues. That's right. So one of the pieces that we got commissioned was by a Senegalese artist who's been local to LA for like 20 years. His name is Ali Karoma, and he's done a piece on uh, murdered and missing indigenous women. It's a very powerful piece. It's a piece of healing. It's it's a conversation starter. It's a, it's a subject that was very close to his heart and, uh, and we were very proud to have it in here as well because we felt that not only is it a beautiful experience but we wanted to you know, share that message as well. I know when I was walking in, I saw pieces of the Berlin oh, Wall. Oh, that's right, of course. Well, we have eight pieces of the Berlin Wall that we've brought in. Standing in front of those walls is um, awe-inspiring. Just to think that your, your country can be divided by something like that, it's a terrible tragedy, but an incredible um, statement to, to have them torn down. And also, they were a canvas for people's um, frustrations, you know. So this is another part of the reason that we've got involved in the street art thing. Paul, what do you want people to experience when they come here to Street Art Alive? Well, LA has incredible street art scene. We're not, we're not trying to um, bring LA street art scene inside. We wanted to show the people of, of Los Angeles, you know, what's happening in the rest of the world, but also to encourage people to go into their backyard and see the work that's done by all these great artists in Los Angeles. Okay, well, Street Art Alive at the Loom, Los Angeles, right. downtown LA. I think we should go hang out a little while longer in London. Oh, absolutely. Let's, right, let's do it. Go. <laughs>